Okay, recording is pro in progress, it says, so we're recording, and now we're live on Facebook, so we're, we've got it, we're all ready to go, and uh, we're here as we are every Monday at four o'clock. Let me just make sure, of course, as usual, that the uh, Facebook is working. Uh, there it is. Okay, we're, we're up and running, folks. Hello, how are you? How you doing? Uh, how was your week? Well, this is another week, and this is the best part of my week. I love these guys and gals who call this show on uh, on uh, uh, on Mondays, and we have a really good time. So let me get start admitting them here. Um, here we go. There's Rick Sheckman, as always. Open the upper part of the group, and then there's Steve Bender. He's from downtown. Edward Berger, he's from what? Where are you again, Edward? Flushing, Flushing, or as the uh, Chinese call it, Flushing. Right. And uh, of course, there's Len Lafrisco, and Jeff Stein is uh, trying to get on here, and more people join. Oh, here, wait a minute, hold on a second. There's more. There's a uh, Scott Boddicker, and then there's what's her name? <laughs> the lovely and attractive Mandy. Mandy and Scott Boddicker, what's his name? And uh, we're still waiting for Jeff. <laughs> uh, okay, well, that's always the case. How are you doing, everybody? Good. Good. How are Good. you? Uh, there's Shecky there. Uh, uh, you know, I uh, I could start it off with something I want to bring up just because maybe, maybe it's food for some kind of discussion. Oh, wait a minute. Here comes Marjorie. Oh, by the way. Uh, Marjorie is coming on the program today, but she is also waiting for a delivery from where? Well, wait a minute. Hold on a second. What? She didn't come on here. <laughs> here, here we go. I got to admit her. And somehow Steve Bender got lost here in the shuffle. Okay. He's on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Come on. There's Marjorie. Marjorie's got a delivery coming from Fairway, right? At some point between three and five. Tell it, tell her, tell them how the wonderful system I've worked up. You know, we live in this rather huge apartment. Okay. And, and so if, if somebody rings the doorbell or the buzzer from downstairs, which rings in the kitchen, sometimes you can't hear it even in the bedroom. So mm. what did I do? I, You're right. I solved the problem. I went out and bought a baby monitor. And <laughs> yeah, and we put no, turn the baby right. monitor on when we want to hear the uh, the uh, uh, doorbell. So well, when, you, when you were walking around your apartment on Saturday, when you popped up there for a few minutes, yeah. holy crap, that's a big apartment, <laughs> <laughs> isn't it? Though, oh yeah. my god, and it used to be bigger gonna... before they had it, right? Well, oh, actually, yeah, it was bigger. There's a door over here, there's a doorway over here that's been wow. blocked up for years. Uh, and it went all the way around the other side of the building. So. Building four. Well, these were but these apartments when they were first created were created as kind of mini mansions, you know. For the Jews. For the Jews. For the, for, for the Jews. It's true. It's true. Yeah, it's before the African Americans moved into Harlem. Oh, okay. Wow. Yeah. So anyway, uh, we. Uh, we're, we're uh, so so this is a uh, you know it's a big apartment yeah so we, we, if we want to hear uh, a a buzzer we have to have some kind of system so I came up with that you know there were no lights in the closet so what did I do I went out and bought these yeah, outdoor you lights did. you know these motion detector lights yep and yep. I put them in yep and so all you have to do is open the door to any closet and the light comes on ta da what would you say, Mandy? I was going to say, how long does it stay on? I know somebody that has one of those, and it makes him mad because he wants to be able to. Seconds, but then you, all you have to do is wave your hand. If you if you move away from it for about ten seconds, it turns off. Oh, okay. Yeah, you have to wave your hand again. And then we had all these old ones that I was using because I put a new, bigger, nicer, brighter ones. And so I had all these little things. So I just left them around the house, like in the bathroom. So when Marjorie gets up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom, the light goes on. Yeah, Marjorie. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so speaking of speaking of big apartments in Harlem and Jews, 
Do you live near where Houdini lived? Houdini was on 113th. Um, and two, 278 West 113th is Houdini House. Really? So that would be between. I don't know. Frederick Douglass Boulevard and no, the next. No, wait a minute. 113th. Oh, yeah, 113th West, is going uptown. West, yeah. Yes. Yeah, I was yeah. there a long time ago. I mean, that's when his father was a rabbi, and they, when they moved to New York, that's where they moved. Well, that was, this was a Jewish section of town at one point. It was a Jewish yeah. ghetto, really. And where ghettos, how ghettos get formed many times is because the Jews move out and the blacks move in. All right? Because they they suddenly their life gets better, and they move out of uh, the uh, ghetto and up into, oh, say, some other area or whatever. The problem is the reason you have blacks with sometimes had bad attitudes towards uh, towards Jews is because the one thing the Jews kept, they may have moved out, but they kept their businesses. They kept their grocery stores. They kept their whatever. And th th so the only Jews that the, the blacks ever came into contact with were these people who were raising the prices when the paychecks came out, <laughs> you know, who you and I would hate too, you know. Uh, but uh, th th that's why I think where I think that whole prejudice mm -hmm. by blacks towards Jews originated. Does that make sense, Shecky? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you're only talking about Harlem. You're not talking about America. Oh right? no, no, I'm just talking about Harlem. Mm -hmm. I'm talking. And I think it all started with Spike Lee. I think maybe it's because, <laughs> as a Jew, I can say. <laughs> I agree. As a Jew, I can say. I can't stand other Jews. So, you know, it's. it's uh, well, you know what I think about the Jews in Brooklyn, you know. Oh, yeah. Well, let's not talk about them. Well, yeah. we should. Yeah, don't, don't paint with so broad a brush there, Shecky. Yeah, you're being <laughs> political, Alex. <laughs> anyway, what I want to talk about was Shecky was talking to me yesterday. Shecky will not be with us for most of next month because Shecky will be. Well, I might be because I have internet on the ship. So it yeah. depends on how fast it is. Right. But and four o'clock will be nine or ten o'clock on the ship, you know. But he's going away for three weeks, taking two different trips. Uh, boat trips. Eastern Europe. Eastern Europe. Uh, okay. and then you said to me something that I shocked the living daylights out of me. You said, This is the last time I'm doing one of these. I didn't say last time, but I'm going to rethink a very lengthy cruise like this. Yeah, the last time. Why a lengthy cruise? Yeah, 21 days is a long cruise. Yeah, yeah. that is. 21 days is a long vacation. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, I've taken two, three week vacations. Like when I left the state radio station in San Francisco. Uh, I, my then girlfriend, took a three week vacation through Europe. And I'm telling you, after three weeks, you're a little sick of not being able to be you know, home, being home. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, uh, I mean, if, if you had some kind of place you could live over there for a while and hang your hat up and so on. But when you're constantly moving, you know, in a car going to this place or on a boat going to that place, it, uh, it can get wearing, it can get very tiring. Yeah. Plus, you're you're getting to be an old fart, you know. Yeah, I'm an old man. Well, you, well you're older than I am, actually. You know, you're you you you're you're. He, I get a lot of when I was a boy from Shecky. I get a lot of that now. So. Oh, yeah, but I went to Costco and Stu Leonard today, so I got out of the house. Yeah, yeah. Why? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see you. <laughs> a, a pot roast, I think, was forty dollars at Costco. Not that I was going to buy. What? What? It was like, well, you know, Costco, of course, is like the pieces of meat are like double the size you want. Yeah. Right. But no, there are also more pieces of meat than perhaps you'll be able to eat before it goes bad. Yeah. Exactly. Like when I went to Stu Leonard's, I bought a, what was called stuffed flank steak, and it was only half a pound. And I bought a half a pound uh, meatloaf there. You know, as opposed mm. to the two pounds of meatloaf at Costco. Right. Yeah. But, but what was the price? Um, the flank steaks were like $8. Really? Two of them. The meatloaf was $6 and change. 
<laughs> Write this down, Marjorie. Next time we you, you shop at Stu Leonard's. Uh, the but media. no, they were smaller portions, which was fine with me. Because well, I that's the thing. Giant, you know, that's the thing at Costco. The problem is, is that you really you've got to have a family to shop there. The only thing really that Marjorie and I can shop for that we know will last is toilet paper, paper goods and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> toilet paper and t- paper towel. Water. You know. And so what about the toilet paper? How long they were out of it? Mm. No, so last I- week, last week they were out of not just not toilet paper, Kirkland, paper which towel. is the house brand. Yeah. Everything. Yeah. Their return policy is incredible, though. You know. Yeah. yeah. You can take stuff back that's five years five old. Five years old. I took know. back used toilet paper. <laughs> and they... <laughs> but uh, yeah. I'm what were you we going to say? What? What? Somebody said something. Andy, Andy. I, I was just saying, I'm admitting this to the world online that I bought a pair of pants there. Oh, oh, that's all right. right. I, I, I bought underpants there. I bought shorts there. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I bought toilet paper last week. <laughs> I bought blue jeans there. I never thought I'd buy blue jeans. Anything but Levi. Kirkland right. had a pair of blue jeans for $13. I yeah. couldn't turn it down. <laughs> yeah. I bought all my $13. shorts and blue jeans at Costco. What are you talking about? <laughs> they were great. They're great. I love them. Right. And, and, and uh, uh, we're, we're, when I die, we're buying my coffin from Kirkland. <laughs> From Costco. You, you don't believe me? Go online. Oh, yeah. Go, go to Coffins and Urns. Oh, my God. And they're there. <laughs> what? You're, you're going to get the Kiss one from Gene Simmons or what? I, 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 what, I want, what I want is I want, they, they, they are Kirkland uh, caskets, but I want one that says Kirkland on the outside. I'm not getting it. And they bury me. Alex, you're getting an urn. Uh, oh, okay. Well, make sure it says Kirkland on it. If it I will. <laughs> you know, the only trouble is, though, it takes them a while to ship them. So how long do you have to put daddy on ice? You know? <laughs> <laughs> well, then get the urn. I don't want to be morbid. Get it now and put it in a closet. Oh, oh, he read, oh thank you, Shaggy. It makes me feel really good. Plan in it. Put that plan thing in it. ahead. Always good to plan ahead. Yeah. I want to see if they have two day shipping or not, or whatever. Yeah. You know, but yeah, we can get the urn. I can look at it and say, well, that looks like it'll be comfortable. Let's put it up in the shelf here. And, and you know. Yeah, and then Marjorie has it whenever she might need it for use. Well, I don't know if I want to be creamy. I'll be in the closet with my mom and dad. Yeah. Is mom and dad in the closet here? Well, they used to be. Oh. <laughs> what, what, what happened? Did you throw them out with they the garbage storage, one day? And huh? I gave up my storage plots. So what did you do with this with the uh with the ashes? They just kind of stayed there. They're in a storage locker in New Jersey? <laughs> no, Pennsylvania. Oh <laughs> even worse. <laughs> Some poor, some poor bastard bought the storage locker. He's like, "What the hell is this?" Jackie, Steve, and you're the two guys closest to me. Jeffrey, you too. Yes. If she tries to stash my ashes in, in, Jersey, in Pennsylvania <laughs> or in Pennsylvania, I don't have storage bins anymore. Oh, okay. So what am I going to be by the roadside? <laughs> I'll take, I'll take them, Alex. I'll take your ashes. You'll take I'll the ashes. My dog. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> well, it's the Martin east side the and the game, west right? side. Huh? Yeah. Put them on Cold eBay. Water. Put them on eBay. Yeah. There you go. Alex Bennett's ashes. I'll, eBay. I'll sprinkle you around San Francisco. Remember him? Uh, somebody here is named Farshad. Oh, well, he went away. Okay. Oh. Mm-hmm. It looked like he was phony. Anyway. Um, but uh, anyway, so uh, so uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, going away for three weeks is not fun. It's long, I admit. You know. Two two weeks, perfect. You know. Yeah. Uh, I'm I'm always happy with two weeks on a vacation. I wouldn't we, know. We haven't left Manhattan. We haven't taken one in years. <laughs> in years. Well, what happened was when we finally decided, ah, maybe we will. COVID hits. Yeah. Try try getting into you know I mean Shecky's worried not so much worried about getting in 
to Europe. Well, oh, getting back. But getting back, getting, getting back, back in the United States. Right, right. Oh, they just raised the thing in New York, right? To what, green or whatever it is. I don't know. Well, yeah, we, we, we were. No, it's yellow now. It's yellow from green or something like that. It was. Yeah. It's medium. Yeah, it was I was reading somewhere where they're saying it seems like another election BS thing. <laughs> we're always around the time of elections. They raise threat levels. Yeah. yeah. Now, here's something Shecky brought up to me the other day when we were talking. Um, uh, 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 we we have uh, uh, ramped up in crime here in Manhattan. You know, a lot of people are being shoved in front of subway cars. That that's happening. And shot on the street. Yeah, yeah. There, you know, and the and the uh, what do you call it is going up. The risk factor on uh, on COVID is going up. And where was our mayor? He's going to the Met Gala tonight. Yeah, going to the Met Gala tonight. Why? Well, did you see the White House Correspondents' Dinner? I mean, you know, even Fauci <laughs> wouldn't go. I mean, it's crazy. Everyone was there, though. <laughs> Everyone was there with no masks. And... Yeah, well, that's why oh, Fauci man. wouldn't go. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. That's exactly right. Yeah. You know. And yeah. I, re I read today, George Stephanopoulos didn't go because apparently the ABC table included um, Pete Davison and the girlfriend. Oh, you know, <laughs> Oh, and uh, Kardashian, Kim Kardashian. Yeah, yeah, they were they were at that table, and you know he apparently why, decided to stay in why, New York. Why were they, they at the ABC table? He works for NBC. Yeah, she works for Disney. And who 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 owns well, Disney? Disney, Disney owns Hulu. Hulu. Disney owns Hulu. ABC. Yeah, it's yeah, Hulu. So it's Disney. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not a huge Trevor Noah fan, but I thought he was terrific. I thought it was a really ballsy performance. He was great. His well, closing statement was so on point. Yeah. But what did he say? I didn't hear it. Well, <laughs> Watch it on YouTube. He did like 25 minutes. He roasted everyone. That was great. But especially mm -hmm. DeSantis. I mean, he was really going at DeSantis. Oh, okay. But then when he talked about the correspondence and us together, Beautiful. joking, yeah. you would never see this in Russia or any place else. Mm -hmm. Right. His yeah. final three minutes was very powerful, just talking about the free press and what they do. Yeah, Excellent. Was... Excellent. But, and, you know, Trump, is, this is the first time a president has been there in what, four years? Six years. Well, Six years. since Obama left. Since yeah. Obama left, because Trump never went to them. Right. He didn't have cheeseburgers and Diet Coke. Well, no, but he, he doesn't have it. He, he never had this is and this is not political discussion, but he never had a sense of humor about himself. I mean, when Obama That's went true. after him at the White House Correspondents Dinner, he looked like he hated it, he hated every minute of it. I, you know, even though everybody else gets roasted, you know, it's an equal opportunity yeah. roast. Right. Right. You know, look on his face when Obama made fun of him, told the whole story. You know, he can't make well, a joke. That was he the moment. That was, for president. Well, that was yeah. the moment he decided to run for president. That's Charlie right. Even said it. Don't yeah. blame it all on Obama's joke. Jesus. <laughs> I, if, if I were to go back in time, you know, back to the future, uh, and I were at the correspondence dinner, I would go up and whisper in Obama's ear, <laughs> not mention Trump. Uh, okay. <laughs> if he hadn't mentioned Trump, Everything might be different. Well, that's when he was talking about that Obama wasn't a U.S. citizen. Oh, that crap. Yeah, but, you know. I mean, <laughs> but it's true. Well, that's one of the reasons that Trump went after him. But anyway, mm -hmm. we don't want to get him. Did, did you hear the line that Biden said about Trump, though? Something oh, yeah. about, you know, we're coming off of this, you know, this, this plague, and then COVID hits. <laughs> 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 That was, that was a good line. Yeah. Very good. Yeah, I, I don't know. Did you see who has cancer today? What? What did you say with Charlie? Did you see no. who has cancer? No. Who no. has cancer? Who? Putin. Supposedly. That's oh, true. no. Really? really? Wait a minute. When did, that come, when did that come out? This afternoon. Really? That's not good, because if he has nothing to lose, we're really in trouble. Well, that's, what, that's the reason why I say he's doing what he's been doing, is because he has nothing to lose. Who I thought it was because of Parkinson. Vladimir Putin. Ah. Yeah. Uh, something. Yeah, well, I don't know. Maybe Howard Stern wished cancer on him and it worked. Yeah. <laughs> but apparently he's turning the reins of power over during his convalescence to an even harder liner than even he is. He's supposed to have surgery next week. What yeah. kind of cancer is it? Is it, do they say? I, I don't know. 
Did you hear where the, the new general that he put in charge of all the Russian forces was attacked at the base in Ukraine? I think his leg. He injured his leg, but there were yeah. like uh, nine or ten officers. I mean, this killed. guy they, they really refer to as what, the killer? What, what's his yeah, name? Whatever, butcher, butcher or whatever. Butcher. Um, yeah. butcher, butcher the butcher. Yeah, the butcher. Uh, yeah, so, eh, well, we don't want to get into politics, but you know. Well, you're getting into it, Alex. Yeah. No, I was just saying that Biden looked pretty sharp, if you ask me. Yeah, he looked fine. You know, I mean, um, yeah. And whoever wrote his material did a good job, yeah. you know, because those were obviously jokes written by a joke writer. So, well, you go and get Al Franken to write it for him, you know. Yeah, yeah <laughs> right. I didn't Al Franken write some stuff for some people years ago. Well, he, wrote, he was one of the writers on Dave's Oscar mm -hmm. 15 years ago, whenever that was. Well, that how's that? How'd that go for Dave? How's the chart? Alex for Klobuchar. Klobuchar? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What was the story? He told some story about that, too. That, um, well, I, I can't remember. Now, but somebody was putting down a person uh -huh. didn't like what he said, and it, he had some response, and it was funny, but I don't remember it, so why am I even talking about it? <laughs> we don't know. Yeah. Um, uh, but, uh, um, you know, I it's just that I just think... Uh, you know, and Shecky is always bemoaning it that we're just living in a world that we never signed up for. You know, I agree. You know, when you maybe maybe it was that when we were kids and, and our parents were teaching us values, uh, we were we didn't have to deal with the real bad problems. You know, because they it shielded you from that, but they inculcated in you these other values. And these are the values that stick with us. And now that we're older, we're finding that nobody else seems to agree with those values anymore. Do I sound like an old man? <laughs> there was a, there's a great long article in the Atlantic that uh, about two weeks ago about how the stupidity, the, the, there's rampant stupidity of America over the last 10 years as a very real thing. And he diagnoses a lot of the reasons why we're getting so damn stupid. It's a great article. Yeah. I'll, I'll send it to you, or you can just Google, you know, in the Atlantic mm -hmm. American stupidity, or you'll find it. Well, you know, um, find a lot of stuff. Huh? You'll find a lot of stuff. Yeah. About American stupidity. stupidity yeah. Yeah. But, you know, I mean, we're, we, were we always, uh, were we at one time brighter than we are now? Or Definitely. was it? You think so? Definitely. I mean, it depends what you mean by brighter. In what, in what ways? In, cer in certain ways, obviously, we have more information than we had, you know, then. You know, because, Steve, you and I live in one of the most, I think, I don't think I'm telling tales out of school here. Oh, live from Sweden. Oh, guess who's here? Guess who's yeah. here? You show up. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Here comes. Uh, oh, okay. I There he is. He's almost here. Let's see if he connects oh, his oh. audio and his picture, and we can have Brian. There he oh, is yay. from Sweden. Hey. Nice. Wait a minute. You got to turn on your audio. audio. You got to turn on your audio. Turn on your audio. Turn on. Into, oh, wait a minute. See the, there we go. Hello. Hello. Hi. How are you, Brian? Fine, I was ready 20 minutes ago, but you know, what's her name says I like making an entrance, so. <laughs> <laughs> what's her name? Well, your name used to be what's his name, but now it's live from live Sweden. From Sweden. Oh my God, my camera's terrible. Looks like I'm like. No, no it looks really good. Like no, it looks fine. It looks fine. You've got some bed head. Brian, you always do good. Yeah, it's 10, 10 That's something. Right. Yeah. 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 I've been really tired, but I set my alarm. I had to ask, oh my God. So I set my alarm for one o'clock for New York time uh -huh. because it's one o'clock California time that I watched the, sh that I'm on, the, that, you know, the area shows oh. on. And so yeah. I, I was like, what the heck is going on? Why isn't the show on? I had to actually text, <laughs> I actually text Tony. I said, Tony, what, what day and what time is it right now? <laughs> <laughs> Tony, yeah, Tony what day, time but, it is? 
Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I had a couple hours to spare, so I figured, you know, I'll talk to him. What, so. what, 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 uh, what time is is it in Sweden right so, now? Oh, yeah, right now it's uh, 1030, and I, I fell asleep a little bit because I didn't get much sleep on the plane, but I wanted to make the at show. At night, 1030 at night? Yeah, 10 30 yeah. at night on Monday, Monday night. Yeah, so yeah. six hours ahead. Six well, hours ahead. When it's 10 30 in Sweden, then it must be 1957 in California. So <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, yeah. Hello. Hello. <laughs> hello. I was I was telling Shecky something the other day. We were arguing about Teslas. And I said, from what I hear, you go out to California and Teslas are everywhere on the road. Is that right? Tell tell them. Yeah, 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 they're everywhere. Yeah, everywhere. Do you think maybe yeah, they have? They, had, they yeah. have actually some Teslas here, and they use them as taxis in Sweden. But mm. yeah, uh, yeah. So there's there's Teslas everywhere. You, yeah. Especially yeah. like yeah. if you sit coming home and you're in traffic and the commuter lane, you just see Tesla after Tesla. It's, it's yeah. Crazy. Yeah. yeah. They're yeah allowed to, windows. windows. They're allowed. They're allowed to use the commuter lane with even only one person in the car. Because would you agree, Steve? We don't see that many Teslas around here, do we? I, I know, but I don't have that kind of consciousness where I'm. I'm not. I don't notice. I'm not really looking. <laughs> I mean, one day I got into a uh, into a lift, and the, and it was a Tesla. Huh. Mm. Ah. And I went, "This is cool," but it's it's the only time I've ever had one that was a Tesla. Mm. But what I, were you saying? I want, I'm just curious. What were you going to say about us living in New York and American stupidity before oh, Brian came up? California, New York is sophisticated. Okay, we're more worldly because the world comes to us, and we we you know we have a a world vision living in New York. But you really? go out, you go out to even Texas, and they don't have a world vision. You know, they have a, they have <laughs> they a cow have vision. A US vision. Huh? You have a U.S. vision. <laughs> you don't even have a U.S. vision. You have a Texas vision. How much Texas. money did he spend Texans here. into those trucks that were coming into Texas? Billion. It cost them billion. billion. Yeah. Oh yeah, you're uh, you're governor, yeah. <laughs> the governor of of uh, of uh, of Texas. Habit. What? What do you do? He made it difficult for trucks to come in from Mexico. He had to inspect yeah. the trucks for. People for drugs. Yeah, it wound up costing the state of Texas four billion dollars. That was just Texas. That cost they, the rest of the country billions more. And yeah. they wow. ended up they ended up moving the Mexicans ended up moving to New Mexico so they could avoid Texas. So it cost a lot of jobs now in Texas up yeah. into where they would dump, dump these vegetables off and offload them to other trucks and stuff. Yeah. But it so was it was just it, what it was business. Yes. What it was, they were just checking every truck and it was taking a long time to do this process. And that stopped it all from happening, yeah. you know. So, I mean, uh, it, it made it really slow, slow going. But anyway, uh, but no. So, I mean, I would you I think Sam, uh, New York is sophisticated. And so we have the sophisticated look at the world and we have a bit larger worldly view this state is also pretty much a lefty state you know it's a democratic state it's almost useless for me to vote because it'll you know my my vote will only add to the numbers that's all but we've had republican mayors and governors mm -hmm. yeah uh bloomberg was republican was uh, 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 was the, the governor what was his name i forget him already uh, oh, okay. They named it, they named the tunnel yeah. after him. What's his name? Yeah. The Pataki uh, Tunnel. Oh, what'd you say? Uh -huh. This is another story. I don't know if any of this is political. I mean, we do it with such a light touch, it doesn't really matter. But you mentioned uh Shecky, oh, that, Koch? that they, they want to do away with the Ed Koch what tunnel or Ed, Ed oh, Koch Bridge. 59th or, Street Bridge. Is is the Ed Koch Bridge. Okay. Now yeah. tell them why. They want them to change the name. Because according to several politicians, he killed hundreds, hundreds and thousands of thousands gay men and women back during the AIDS crisis by his inaction. Wow. Wow. But Ed Koch was gay. <laughs> Is that right? Yes. Yeah. He was. He was closeted. He was closeted gay. But, 
Yeah. Who was he fooling? I mean, everyone. He was <laughs> one of those one of those things that were quote a confirmed bachelor. Uh, <laughs> you know that term? Just like Lindsey Graham. Yeah. Yeah. Confirmed bachelor. <laughs> You know, uh, yeah, but, but they want, and also there is some woman I can't remember what state she's from, who wants to get rid of the Christopher Columbus statue in Columbus Circle. Of course. Well, then and put up a statue of some indigenous penguins or something. <laughs> that, was an, that, was an, that was an episode of The Sopranos, well, where they were protesting the Columbus Day Parade and the Columbus statue. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah, so, well, I, I don't, I don't understand that. You know, because. Yeah, I mean, yeah, Columbus, I'm sure, to begin with, I, how can you say he discovered America? He can't discover anything. He never came to America. No, well, well, he never well, went to that New York. Part, forget that part about it. How can you say somebody discovered something when there were people there already? Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, the, the Indians, the indigenous Americans, probably who came across the Bering Strait were the people who discovered America. They totally or the did. Norsemen were here what, we, before that. What are you saying, Mandy? This is exactly what my daughter is focusing on in her PhD. Mm. The people in America. So that's why she went to Alaska two summers ago to do yeah. some digging up there because, yeah, the Bering Strait, the land used to be connected mm-hmm. 14,000 years ago or whatever it was. 14,000 years ago. Yeah, but the thing is that, that you can't say that somebody discovered America, you can say maybe Columbus discovered America for the The Europeans. Europeans. You know, and also before him, Leif Erikson was here. What were you saying? saying The Norsemen. Yeah. Mandy? I said he also brought a lot of disease, you know, killed off a bunch of indigenous people. Oh, right. Right. But, you know, so I mean, so you, they want to get rid of the statue in Columbus Circle of Columbus, but they don't want to change the name of the circle. <laughs> well, whoever this woman is, who I can't remember, she's running for some office. She didn't mention that part. Right. They should just make it Columbo and put up a Peter Falk statue. <laughs> <laughs> don't have to change the signs that much. A couple of letters and it's done. What was his first name? Who? Oh, Columbo? It, it was Frank, but they never used it. Oh, oh no. Really? I didn't yeah. know that. I never knew it. There's, there's oh. one episode where he shows his identification. It says Frank, but then they, oh. he really didn't have a first name. Actually, you can kind of be Columbo, Edward. Kind of. Try yeah. saying the following statement. I'm not bothering you, am I? I'm not bothering <laughs> you, am I? <laughs> So, uh, so uh, have you had any chance to see, where are you in Sweden? Are you in uh, Oslo or? I'm in Stockholm. Stockholm? Uh, yeah, so uh, Radisson Blue, so the Stockholm uh, Central Center is uh, right, right next door. So that's the main hub for all of the subways and all of the trains, the high speed trains. Yeah. yeah. And so it's like, it's, it's, uh, and the Solna is where our factory is. So it's a nice you know, 15 minute. Uh, train ride so it's it's out of there but it's right downtown so just walk down about five minutes and over the bridge they have a bunch of little bridges and there's like old town uh old town stockholm and you have yeah really beautiful areas down there let's say um, while you were there you got kidnapped <laughs> right and you then the, 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 fell in love very big if, if, if you fell in love with your captors <laughs> yes right? What would that be called? <laughs> Stockholm, <Syndrome>. Stockholm. <laughs> Gosh, I, I, wow. I, I've never really cared for blondes, but oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have to look over my shoulder when I'm saying this, and she never watches the show. She hates me. <laughs> but, oh my God, there. You know, you know, when there's... Well, listen, just because you're married doesn't mean you can't right. keep looking. I know. You know? Yeah. It's just, you know, when there's like, there's so many, so many beautiful here, these blonde girls with the blue and eyes, green eyes, you know, that, that when there's just so many here, that the really like drop dead, or you think a supermodel gorgeous ones, there are just so many of them that they're all just, you know, diluted all the beautiful girls but my god there are some just like, have you spent wow, any amount of time in new york have you spent any t- amount of time in new york Not yet. <laughs> because 
and I'm sure Shecky will agree, and I'm sure Jeff will agree, and I'm sure that Steve will agree that there are women that walk down the street in this town that will just take your breath away. It's insane, especially down here. Let's, you know, we've got NYU and modeling agencies on Fifth Avenue. It's insane. And they're not even trying. No. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, that's how these, and these, but the scary thing about this, these girls are like six foot tall. So I'm six four. I mean, but, and Steve's but, taller than me, but they're, they're, you know, I just get in the elevator and short, two huh? kids. Yeah, two kids are like six, six. I start talking to them. I'm like, my God, I feel so good. Wow. Yeah. Should I get you a shovel? You're digging yourself pretty deep there. <laughs> I'm deleting this from my account after. <laughs> yeah, so it yeah, so it's, it's been a good trip so far. So doing a lot of good stuff here. So yeah, but uh, you, yeah, well, uh, uh, and are you getting work done? Yeah, because yeah, I find because, day today. because if, uh, when did you get in? I got in Sunday. 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 So, so here like it is Monday. Of- you know, because yeah. usually, usually it takes, if you're going to do some work, it takes yeah. a couple of days before you yeah. can really get anything meaningful done. Because for the first couple of days, you're trying to adjust for the time and the jet lag and yeah. everything else. You know, I, everybody, I think the most common flights are from, from SFO to Munich and then to Sweden. I went from San Jose airport. I went down to LA and had a four hour layover. And then I flew direct flight from there to Stockholm and oh, there wow. was nobody on the plane there wow. we were in we we're in premium and everybody had their own section of three seats you know wow, wow. wow. So, everybody was lying down and sleeping I couldn't sleep though because you know six four and you know Steve knows this too man you can't even lie down in those lengthwise because I feel like if I'm gonna move a little forward I'm gonna fall when you say so premium forward. seats is that just the ones with a little more leg room a little more room yeah the next level up from economy yeah but this yeah, is so. it, this isn't like uh like uh business, know, business. Uh, first class yeah or our first so, class yeah yeah so oh, so I don't even know if you'd fit in first class I mean those things are only about six feet long so. they they, they have a good, yeah, there's, it's good. And everybody's lying down, but I still couldn't sleep. So when I got here yesterday, I was so tired. I couldn't sleep last night. And then, so today was pretty tough. Had a lot of coffee. Which brings up a good coffee. question. What's the worst airline anybody here has taken? Ever? Ever. Hmm. God. I took a Delta flight to Norway mm-hmm. that I thought would kill me because my, my the seat placement was so small yeah. that my knees were up around my chest yeah it was oh. it was horrible just horrible yeah back in the day do you remember allegheny airlines back east i mean oh, really? that was the worst jackie just smiled you've taken <laughs> allegheny rick no but i know what he's talking about my dad used to call it agony airlines because it was so hard <laughs> <laughs> this is old people's express if you remember that back right Wait a minute. I'm not eastern this is airlines. eastern airlines this what is, is you? your sparkling this is your sparkling water that you have it's, basically it's the swedish version though yeah because this is ice and it it says yeah. the same thing on it oh yeah, yeah. same same yeah. type of bottle and everything yeah yeah mm-hmm. yeah could it be? It, it probably just all get this from the same place, right? Yeah, the the tab. <laughs> two, two for thirty pounds. Yeah, I always wanted to go see where Perrier came from. You know, yeah. they show you these babbling brooks and everything. Yeah, but I think they just go up to like a faucet. Yeah. <laughs> you know, in France. <laughs> Apparently, New York water is some of the best water in the world. That's what it they. Is. That's they what they always say. That I don't care. Yeah. No, I agree. Yeah. It is. Well, supposedly that's why the bagels are so good, right? And the oh, pizza and the bagel, yeah. Well, supposedly it's the water that the bagels were boiled in or something. Yes, right. uh, Brian. We, we we ate last night, we ate at a place they said there's one in New York. It's called uh, Italian Eatery or Italian Eatery. Oh, Italy? Like Italy. 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 Yeah. yeah, it was run yeah, by so a couple. This- run by a couple yeah. former students of mine. Oh, oh, really? So this this one was down here and it's an old theater. It used to be an old theater. So they have a stage and where the floor was, they had like five or six different Italian restaurants. And then you walk up to the stage where we sat and then you could actually walk up to the balcony 
that wraps around. And there's like three more restaurants up there, all Italian restaurants. Do they it's also really, sell? Really cool. they, do they sell food there? I mean, sell like yeah. ravioli and sauces. Yes. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Off to the side, food. they do. And the lady said that yeah, the one in New York is bigger, and they sell more grocery type stuff in New York. Yeah. Who it's, over, you, it's overwhelming. It's overwhelmingly who, who, big. Yeah. Who were your students, Steve? I don't even remember their names. I have their Italy card somewhere in my well, wallet. There's, you know, there's time. the, what do you call it, family? Uh, the mother, uh, Lydia. No. Uh, oh. I'm so bad with names. Yeah, Lydia. And and uh, also that guy that used to walk around with the uh, funny shoes. What are those shoes? <laughs> uh, and he, they, Ronald uh, McDonald? No, they had to get, they, they had to get restaurant. Rid, they had to get rid of him because he was... I don't know, pinching women in the ass or something. And so he had to give up his share of the stock. Uh, I'm trying to remember his name. He was a famous chef. He was know. the one on the he was the one on the cooking show. Oh, Mario, oh. Mario Batali. Mario Batali. Mario. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And then the the other one's Lydia Bastiani. Right, right. Yeah. Bastiani yeah. and his her her son, uh, whose name I can't remember right now. And they started this thing called Italy. Which is like uh, Albert first showed it to me because we he said, well, let's walk through here to get to the other side of the street. Right. Mm -hmm. I said, what is this place? He says, you don't know Italy. Mm -hmm. And it's just like you got chocolates and you got ravioli yeah. and you've got the sauces and you it got the big yeah, too, yeah. Yeah. Meatballs. Man, it's like four restaurants that got outdoor restaurants. Um, yeah. They have, a, they have a wine tasting. They have a beer have garden on the roof, I think. They have a yeah. wine. So they put these things in other countries now, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really cool, really nice. And like I said, it was an old theater. So you look up in the up at the top, you know, the dome sort of, and they mm -hmm. have these old glass pieces with these huge, two huge old chandeliers. Really wow. beautiful now. Yeah. Well, they're so big. They're and they're huge. I mean, it's a huge store. There's in Manhattan, there's one on 23rd Street, but then again, there's also one. How far much downtown, Steve? There's another one. I don't know. I only know the 23rd Street. Oh no, there's another one downtown. downtown. That's how it's good like their business is. They, they, they don't cut it in half by moving, you know, starting a store somewhere. I don't else. think so, Alex. I don't think there is one down there. I believe there is, Marjorie. I don't think so. Really? I, could be wrong. I don't know of it, but. Oh, Hold on a second. It might be I'll in uh, what Italy. used to be the Italian area. No, then, not in it, Italy. They would I heard it's like, is it a whole block or like a whole length of a it's block? It's like a half a block. It's like half a block. Okay, yeah. but oh, it's it's really deep. It probably goes all the way back to the next avenue. Ah, ah yeah. here we go. Flatiron. Okay. That's, That's 23rd Street. That's 23rd, 23rd Street. Street. And New York City downtown, located in the historic, uh, uh, let's see, downtown is where is it located? Like, is <laughs> Little Italy. There's one. Chinatown, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Chinatown. <laughs> There we and go. And has taken over Little Italy. There's hardly any Little Italy left. Yeah. Really? This no. is, uh, I, I, I don't have an address here, but there is another one downtown. Okay. See? We believe you. Yeah. Does Thank you. Have you the drink? What? <laughs> Do we get the drink? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, it wasn't my mistake. I had it right. I said, I said there was yeah. another one. But when you're right talking to Phil, we always get the drink. Oh, well, okay. Yeah, okay. All right. Well, have a drink on me. Uh, <laughs> leave me alone. Let me see here. Let me go back here to Facebook here so that I have a... What, what happened to that? Uh, here we go. Where are we? Here we go. I'm just trying to get things so I can see them. Wow. There's a lot of people here today. It's really nice. Uh, and 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 universe and international today. Yeah, well. that's true. Yeah, uh, but uh, Sweden is very beautiful. I don't know if anyone's been there. This is the third time I've been here, and it's the old town is really nice, and you know, there's a lot of history here. And you just walk by the palace and just walking everywhere. I think I went. I went to Copenhagen once. Mm. Went to that's Copenhagen. Denmark, Alex. Huh? Oh, it's Denmark now. Okay. In Norway. 
And then I've been to I've been yeah. to uh, went to Lillehammer in Norway. In Norway. Yeah. Yeah. And um, let me see here. That that's about it for the for those countries. They never, for some reason, I mean, you probably felt the same way when you said, Brian, when they said, oh, you're going to Sweden, you didn't go whoop de doo did you? Yeah, yeah, before yeah. I didn't really care. Yeah, yeah. because yeah. you think of them as kind of almost dull countries. Yeah. You know, and yet you get there and it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. But, I went to Denmark once. It was very nice. Denmark, yeah. 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 So, anyway. I flew in, we flew into Oslo and then we took a bus or a train to Lillehammer. That was during the Olympics. So, mm. yeah. Mm. So anyway, let me see here. What else is happening in, the, in, in this world right now? That's interesting. Anybody see any good TV shows lately? Yeah. Well, the Working final on. episode of Ozark. Or Ozark, one. yeah. I already got one under there. I'm going to watch the rest of them. Yeah, That's a I, great show. You know something? We watched the first season, and yep. I guess we just kind of didn't go back for. We watched right. a little bit of the second season, and it just wasn't going anywhere. Huh? Yeah. It uh, ends up going somewhere. It's a good show. Yeah, I like it. We watched watch uh, the season two of Fargo. What? I started watching the second season of Fargo. Which, which one was that? Which year was that? I'm trying to remember which uh, who was in that one. Uh, is that the one with Jesse Clemens? Or is that uh, the third season? No, I think Jesse Clemens is in there. Because hmm. uh, we're watching, uh, let's see here. Well, Julie is about to come wind down. Julie's very good. Well, it's got one more episode, I think. Yeah. Yeah. But it's very it's, good. A, it's a very good show. It's a very sweet show. You know, it, 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 it the relationship between she and her husband is very nice. Very, oh, you I'm know, watching the a, final season of uh, A Better Call Saul. Let me tell oh, you. Oh, yeah, we, I've been watching that. It's good. What, what, what we saw great. yesterday, and it wasn't a TV show. Um, I called Will Durst because, you, you know, Will Durst, the comedian, in case mm -hmm. people don't know, because it's the Monday show. Uh, it's a comedian who's been on my show a lot. And he had a stroke about two and a half years ago mm -hmm. and has been in a bed ever since. And he, they wouldn't let him out until he could walk because one of his legs wasn't working. And he had a lot of pain in that leg. And he kept complaining about the pain in the leg and how much it was hurting him. And one day he finally say, he kept saying, why don't you do it, the uh, x-ray or something of it? Maybe it's something else. I don't know. And the doctors went, no, it's because of the stroke. And, you know, you've got to get that leg working. You can't leave here. So he's in the hospital. He's in nursing homes for three years, two and a half years. He and goes to his doctor man. and he said, look, do me a favor. Humor me. Give me an x-ray. They gave him an x-ray and they said, oh, my God, you got a broken hip. Oh. Sure. And broken for over a year. For Two over years. a year. And oh, it, it's a, it's a ball, the ball joint. A Lego suit. Yeah. Now, at the same time, his wife, Debbie, was getting ready to have another hip replacement because she had a hip replacement a couple of years ago, and now she needs mm -hmm. another one. Mm -hmm. So they decided to get them at the same time. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. And when you I called a, Will yesterday in the hospital... He and his wife were sharing the same room oh, and, it, oh and it was so sweet. And she said to me, she said, you know something? She said, I haven't been able to sleep in the same room with him for two and a half years. Uh, and now uh, we get to, and I suddenly remembered he snores, uh, <laughs> but it's really sweet, really sweet. Um, what'd you say, Mandy? My parents were in rehab together a few years back when my mom broke her leg uh -huh. and dad was getting ready to have some surgery and he was just in a kind of a bad way and it wasn't a good time for her to break her leg. They let him come and be in her room at wow. the same time. He would nice. have to That was hilarious. Yeah. Being, <laughs> but you got to, you know, in the case of Will and Debbie, they haven't been able to sleep in the same room for, you know, 
two and a half years, years, almost three years. Right. And and here now they're able to just because they're both having their hips worked on at the same <laughs> time. Well, maybe now they'll be able to walk. That's great. Well, then if he can, he can go home. Then I'll let him out. Yeah. Yeah. Well, then he's got a, probably a lot of physical therapy. Well, he's yeah. got a lot of physical yeah. therapy, anyway. but all he needs to be able to do, here's here's what they were worried about with Will. Uh, Debbie was telling me, says the thing we worried about was that if he came home and he couldn't walk, how does he get to the bathroom? She said, mm -hmm. I'm too small. She's a very small woman to yeah. actually lift him up and take him to the toilet. So he's got to be able to do that for himself. She yeah. put in a, a lift up the stairs uh, and that's mm -hmm. ready for him. So that's fine. But it just things like getting up and going to the bathroom. And I'm so, hot. Huh? I'm hot, Alex. well, you know, th the point is that they, they want him to have a certain amount of mobility to be able to go home. So that's it. And they won't let him go home until somebody comes to pick him up. Yeah. <laughs> hey, listen, today, today I'm, I, I went and picked her up again at her little thing that she had with the thing in her back and everything. Okay. And, and, and it cost me 50 bucks by, by lift to get down there. Uh, so I hope I've made up for the time I didn't pick you up at the hospital, Marjorie. Nope, not even close. Oh, like that that yeah. never goes away. That never so goes that, away. That never goes away. That's your money in the bank, right? That's stored right here. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. My, ever, mine, is when, mine is when we were just starting to date and I ended up staying over a friend, my guy friend's house after we went clubbing. I didn't say over all night, but I stayed till like 5 in the a.m. in the morning. And yeah. then I went home. Yeah, that's the one that lingers in my family. Oh, you mean that's the one she always brings up when she wants to say, always. but you remember <laughs> the time? When yes. <laughs> From then on, I, when I go out to the my friends to club or, or whatever, you know, for drinks or something, I always text on the way home. And I always say, oh, I'll be out till about 2 o'clock, you know, and 2, 2 a.m., but I'll come home at 1 and I still, I'm on the way home. So I've been every single time since then like, that good. And she still goes back to like eight years ago, the time I was over at <laughs> my friend's house till 5 a.m. Now, now she makes you take Adrian with you everywhere you go. <laughs> oh, uh, you, yeah, that's, Mandy, that's the only thing that saves me in the car. Women stuff. don't forget. Let me just no, say No, I don't think it's that you don't forget. Women do not forget. Mandy, Mandy, correct me if I'm wrong. Women do. It's not that they don't forget. It's just they keep adding these things up so they have something to use later on. Am I right? <laughs> yeah. And let me just, and I'll tell you another, uh, to me, I think it's a funny anecdote about my mother because mm -hmm. on Facebook, you know, when you're on Facebook and you're like looking through your timeline and you can see so-and-so commented and it's like a, yeah. a public post that it had a picture of like clothes that were all out on the lawn, you know, or oh. something. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. What have you done? And it's not cheating. Comment below. Yeah. And my mother yeah. had commented. I thought, I know what it's going to be. It was uh, like, she got, she got an iron for Christmas. Oh. <laughs> she was <laughs> <laughs> years. Um, oh, that's funny. That's that's good. funny. I, got, I got her and I, so she loved, she loved shaved ice. You know, so they have the thing you can pour the ice in there and you grind it down to shaved ice. So I got that for her one year. And I don't care about shaved ice, but she loves it and the kids loved it. So I got that for her and her parents, right when she opened it, her spare parents started talking Vietnamese and I know it wasn't good. <laughs> <laughs> I got one of those ice for Christmas. Yeah, those ones well, you can chew. I think, yeah. yeah, so I think her family thought, oh my God. He's buying that, like, you know, oh, he wants shaved ice, so he's hinting to her, here, you can make shaved ice with this one. Well, Marjorie, <laughs> I didn't even care about shaved tell ice. Tell the gift I bought you that I keep getting heat from you years later for. Bought me a pot. <laughs> and it wasn't even a good pot. I had to return it. Well, I, you know, it, good pot, bad pot. You'll smoke anything. No, uh, a good pot, bad pot. Uh the fact of the matter was 
I, you were always you, you were always telling me about how you love cooking and you were into cooking and you were into doing gourmet cooking and all of this stuff. So I figured if I went out and got you a very nice pot. For Valentine's And I think you had somehow you had complained that you didn't have a certain kind of pot. And that's what I, I never thought. complained that I didn't have a pot. Plus, you got me one that was. Well, I'm sorry. I'm a guy. I'm trying to buy utensils for the kitchen. I'm a guy. You don't buy utensils for somebody's kitchen. You know, I buy them for pots. I get a bunch of them at the same time that uh, sell for $34.95, you know, and then you take them home and they last a week and a half. But but those are the things that women will not forget. You know, guys forget. Well, guys the don't hospital, The hospital thing is so at the top that nothing will ever come near it. Okay. <laughs> so I'm just, I'm just in, in bad shape for the rest of my life, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, no, but it's not that she brings it up every day, just when she needs it. Yeah, of course. You know? um, but, uh, you know, I mean, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I never picked you up that time. You know, it just seemed logical to me that it was easier for you to take a cab than for me to go and take a cap. Uh, no, yeah, you're right, that Brian. I, yeah. <laughs> I mean, so I missed the, I'm missing the Warriors game this week, and then the Dodgers are playing the Giants this week. They won, they won by one point. One point, point I know. I know I missed the game, and then I just saw that. So and Drake got subject. thrown out. That's what I heard. I saw the highlights. Yeah. Now, isn't it amazing? You know, you think you talk about if Shecky and I were talking the other day about, you know, boy, when I was a kid, blah, 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 blah. But, you know, oh, we wow. didn't have it. I, I saw a <clears throat> I was listening to an old Edward R. Murrow show. Hear it now. Mm -hmm. And there was a piece that was done by somebody that was relayed from some country to another country to another country that they then got at CBS in New York and they were playing it. Okay. And it's, it's all, I'm calling you, you can barely hear the guy. And I'm thinking, look what we got now. Here's, here's Brian. He's in Sweden folks. Yeah. You, you know, we could, what even what 30 years ago, we couldn't get a picture that good from Sweden. Could we read? Well, you remember during the Vietnam War where they would have to ship the film prints to the news organizations right. in New York to run them on the evening news. Yeah. Yeah. And what's and amazing it, to me, what's amazing to me, the technology exists for somebody to to shoot a, a show in Ukraine and carry on a conversation with someone back in the States and there's no satellite delay. Right. Yeah. Well, a lot of that they're doing by phone. Yeah, there's no satellite delay. I mean, it's amazing if you think about it. This is probably the first war we've ever had that we've watched in real time. Yeah. You know? Louis, C Louis C.K. has a good bit about that whole thing. You know, people get so impatient because, you know, they click on something and it takes like 10 seconds to, to, to you know, change. Mm -hmm. And he, he just starts cursing at the people saying, you know, you, you ignorant, you know, he swears and stuff, you know, says, you know, you're actually getting a picture and it's going, you know, up to a satellite. <laughs> and then you know, he goes into this detail about how something goes through and you're, and you're, you know, you're making comments because you can't see that within five seconds. He says, you should be so happy. You can even see that, you know, and he, yeah, you know at like, all. Yes. Yes. Like, yes. Oh, Vernon. But you know, you know that I'm into ham radio, right? Right. So like, Oh, yeah. When I first got into ham radio and I wanted to operate my radio, I would have to go down and turn it on and go away for 30 minutes to let it warm up. <laughs> it <had> warm up. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Well, I remember a couple of years ago, somebody bought me like an old cathedral, you know, one of those cathedral radios, you know. I radios. did. I no, did. No, you, you didn't. This was somebody <laughs> else in San I Francisco. You a radio. I know you did, but I, I had one before mm -hmm. that. Okay. In San Francisco. And when I got it, I turned it on and I said, oh, it's broken. And then I forgot that I had to wait for the tubes to warm up. Crazy. Huh? Yeah. Yes, Jeff. I, I used to work for a company in Manhattan. And so the news 
was being filmed mm-hmm. on regular big cameras. Yeah. Okay. And they and they would go to the company that I worked with and we would process the films mm-hmm. in the morning, you know, in the afternoon. You were talking about it being on those big rolls of video. Big rolls of things. Two inch tape. Process sure. them. No, this is film. Bring them over to ABC oh, or NBC, whoever was getting it, and deliver them that film so that at what? Six o'clock, yeah. the news would be on every day. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? You know what happened? I love telling this story. You know, I guess it's where we've run out of time here, but we can go over it a little bit. I mm-hmm. I uh, um I worked, I did a show in uh Houston, Texas, a TV show. And after it was over, uh, I was there a couple of days later, and somebody said, Here, take the tape, you know. And what it was, was they had these big, two, real, you know, you remember the yeah. Becky, the right. two inch yeah. video tape. Yeah, two Perfect. inch video. Okay. Yeah. They weighed a ton. Okay. Yeah. You got a hernia lifting them. All right. So I take the thing home and I leave it there. And then I move to Minneapolis and I take this giant roll of tape with me and it's there. And then I go to New York. And I've got to take it there with me. Everywhere I traveled, You've everywhere I lived, I brought that tape with me because God bless it. It was an hour of my video done in yeah. Houston, Texas on a TV show. So now I get to San Francisco and I'm working at uh, Channel 44 doing a special. And I walk and they had one of these old one inch, two inch machines. Uh-huh. They kept them around. So just in case they got an old two inch tape that they had to play, there was some place mm-hmm. that, So I said, could you dub this off for me, please? And they said, sure, he'd be happy to. Just leave it here. I left it there. They dubbed it off. They gave me the the VHS tape. Okay. (laughs) I'm just so happy I now have this thing. I go home. I put it in the machine, and it's somebody else's show. (laughs) Oh, no. (laughs) Oh, no. Oh. No more carriage. You didn't have That's to bring it. it anywhere. That's it. That tape went in the dumper. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, hey, listen, this is uh, it's been fun. Another fun time. Great to see uh, Brian from Sweden. You know, and and uh, what's her name from Georgia? <laughs> <laughs> no name. No name. <laughs> and uh, Rick, thank you so much once again. Always a pleasure. Uh, Len the Frisco. By the way, you you went and saw Bubbles the other night. It was really good. Bubble, what did you expect? Bubbles is very funny. I'd forgotten it's been so long since I see him. He was freaking hysterical. Yeah. 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 Really, really well done show. And I talked to him a bunch afterwards. Yeah. And uh, he's uh, he's a good guy. I like the guy a lot. Terrific he's guy. Said to say hey back to you. So. Yeah, well, I was gonna talk to him today, but we're gonna do a thing on on thursday and i was going to just say how i had heard that he yeah. did great and i didn't i wouldn't expect any less out of bubbles please feel yeah. free to use the picture i sent you as uh, his as his picture when he comes on <laughs> yeah yeah because it's more more recent than the old one you got <laughs> <laughs> uh thank you very much mandy always good having you here yeah sorry you know, and uh, you got to get back to adding up numbers i would imagine yeah. <laughs> Glad to get to join in. I get to listen at least. It's well, fun. No, we, we love having you here on in any way we can get you. Okay. Uh Scott Boddicker, thank you, Scott. Always mm-hmm. a pleasure to have you here there in uh Plano, Texas, out there down there in uh where Austin are you in Charlie? Austin, yeah. Austin, Texas. Mm-hmm. We got uh, a lot of Teslas here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> huh? I said what, Keller was town. What what'd yeah. you say? I, didn't Keller, I work for a Keller Williams company. So oh. Austin, they're headquartered. Oh, oh. okay. I've yeah. been there a few times. It's great. I'll- Jeff Stein, thank you so much. Always a pleasure having you here. Marjorie Miller, um, I'll see you for dinner. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Steve Good Bender, luck. great great seeing you. And uh, if you don't come up here, I'm going to get down there sometime soon and just bump into you, okay? Um, Vernon Nunn. Pleasure. Always a pleasure having you here. 
Uh, and of course, uh, Brian, who's live from Sweden. And finally, Edward Berger, who's going to close <laughs> off the program by saying, That's all, folks. <laughs> Stretch it out a little bit. That's oh, all, okay. folks. That's <laughs> all, folks. There we go. Okay. Everybody, wave goodbye, and we'll say goodbye to you, too, and see you all next week, hopefully. Bye. Thanks. Okay. Bye.